so hopefully some drummer better than I can make use of this technique. It's basically just uh, stealing a bar on drumming technique and applying it to like a kit. So bar on drummers, that's an Irish drum um, and the technique is a little bit great because um, they can get more hits by making use of a kind of a pendulum and you hit the drum at the lowest point with both sides. Um, so I suppose the only place I've found to apply this in a useful way is on a hi-hat and maybe on this terrible ride that I have. Um, so yeah, so this is just the idea is that you can go faster with one hand and it frees up your other hand. So. So you don't have to go and uh, you can kind of time your synchronicity between hi-hat and snare a little bit easier and you can kind of loosen up your snare hands to kind of sync a bit it's kind of handy um, also you can go to the next level with this I suppose the best way to start out with this it does feel a bit weird because you're not hitting on the I suppose extreme of the stroke it's just in the middle um, so you kind of have to try and get the bottom of that pendulum in the one spot if you can and then you just kind of keep time for yourself and it's it's pretty great um, the next level up on that is to kind of pardon me that's my terrible ride slash crash um, well this is the this is the next I suppose fun not as hard to learn as you think it is um, yeah just start, I mean, just start swinging and just kind of go a bit weirder with your wrist as you swing that's my phone just fall on the ground the sticky tip might hold out for 15 more seconds so yeah handy good fun I'm sure people that have like sample pads and stuff can do some like, pretty good like trap and like crazy crazy hi-hat and snare stuff with that especially people that have like good left hands that can play like more than one note in um, in succession um, yeah I've tried to mix it up on the Tom, but um, not too amazing success. As I say, I'm a pretty terrible drummer, but uh, hopefully some better baron players, some better, you know, drum players in general can make use of this. Pretty interesting. You can go faster with your right hand, and, and it reverts to triplets every time. Just like, I suppose it's three hits. And you just like miss it, like every time you don't want it to play something. It's kind of like strumming a guitar, I guess, in that way. Um, yeah, so haven't seen this anywhere, so feel pretty good. Like any stealing ideas from other instruments and applying them to other instruments, and that's a good idea, and it's cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think that's everything productive I had to say, so uh, bye.